Hey, my Scorpios. I was drawn to the sign Scorpio, so I'm going to go ahead and do Scorpio today. Um, this is your next 72. Please keep in mind that this is, um, this, the timing is fluid. Even though I say it's the next 72, it may happen a week later. This message is also timeless, so it could be whenever you receive this message. Um, I also want to say this is a general reading, not a personal reading. Certain things I say may not resonate to your situation. But if that happens, um, just know that, hey, that just message was important to you and just disregard it. Also, I'm a mother, so you will, hear, you will probably hear my son come in and out of the room. That's just how it is sometimes. All right, and with that being said, hello and welcome. And don't forget to hit that like button if you are enjoying the content. All right, we're going to start off with Romans 15, 13. I also like to open up my readings with scripture. It says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that my, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. It says, may the God, I'm saying it again, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Roman 15, Romans 15, 13. All right, let's go ahead and get into what you can expect. I had to adjust the camera itself. When I did Virgo's reading, it was like, I felt like the camera was too high. Let's see. Be careful of your nails, Spirit said. Someone might break their nail. I know that's really, <laughs> really strange, but be careful of your nails. I see you guys might be hitting the jackpot about something. Hitting a jackpot, I'm getting. Be careful of fake friends talking mess behind your back. Um, don't worry about that, but I'm seeing that in the cards. Don't be paranoid about it. That's just what haters do. All right, let's see. Clout hungry. Hmm. And then we have, hold on a minute. I thought one flipped over, yeah. I thought so. Okay. So I hope you guys can see that very well. Um, some of you might experience some headaches. There's a need for you to drink some more water, Spirit says. Overall, the jackpot, like I was saying, there's some type of winning um, inheritance or some type of expect unexpected money. Some of you are going to spend something, um, some type of gamble and win some unexpected money. Now, for your next 72, be careful of someone that is very into you. Um, they're seeming very into you, but they're very a clout-hungry type person. They say and do anything. Um, they may talk excessively, but they sometimes make up stories, I'm getting. Be really um, careful of that type of person. I'm pretty sure you're noticing, uh, for some of you Scorpios, I'm getting like you're talking to someone and you know that they're telling like making up stories or something. That's what I'm getting. And you're like, you know what? I don't really know about you. I feel like you're vibing with the person, but there's some red flags there. That's for relationships. But overall, I'm getting Scorpio. You might just encounter someone that's just making up stories and you know that they're making up stories. Okay. Let's see. What else is happening? Scorpio, five of coins, okay, which is the five of pentacles in tarot. This is so weird. It's like the same kind of, same people, right? It looks like the same three. Oh my gosh. It's just interesting to me how that came up like that. But this is reversed, though. That's crazy. I feel like this is really interesting. I feel like I want to say, like, with this person making up stuff in the next 72, there may be a situation where you kind of call them out on it and they throw a fit, I'm getting. Okay, the six of six of coins very interesting i'll explain these in just a minute i just want to pull them all out the sun in reverse 
be careful with what you get into business-wise in the next 72. Make sure that you're reading um, the contracts very carefully. Clarification on the Five of Coins. Okay, the Two of Cups. Clarification on the Two of Coins. Two, but number two, twos are very significant for you. Two, 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 you might be seeing. Yeah. I feel like this is really strange, okay? I feel like this person is coming in and wanting to um, support you and come together with this Two of Cups after they kind of left you out in the cold. Someone may have left you out in the cold or you were feeling left out in the cold. This person is trying to come in and help, but they have like a weird side to them, I'm getting. Because the moment you call them out on something, they kind of like become a bit unbalanced, I'm getting. We have strength here. We have the three of wands. that oops I kind of hit that you guys can see that I hate that I do the Virgos like this cuz okay Scorpio so I'm really getting the energy of um, when I look at your cards this could be love or this can be like some type of business thing that you're doing um, but someone you're going to encounter is going to be the type of person like I said that makes up stuff and you're gonna catch them on it um, they're going to be very into you and everything, whether it's love or even they want you to work with them. But you're going to basically see through some things and you're going to decide. I see you deciding not to work with this person or not pursue a loving relationship. And this person is going to throw a fit, I'm getting. Out of fear of losing you as a client for some of you or as a love interest. I feel like you're going to find support somewhere else with the Six of Coins. And it's going to give you a lot of strength. Whatever this is, I'm hearing no deal. Please look at the contracts very um, closely in the next 72. We have the Sun in reverse right here with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is all about um, entrepreneurship, like the beginning of something. I feel like because you decide to not go in this direction with this person, company, or whatever this is, you might feel like it's a little bit of a delayed success because you thought it was going to be successful and it turns out you just your intuition is telling you that it's, something's off here. But I do eventually see you signing something else that's going to work out. Um, whether this, like I said, it's a business deal because it's a general and picking up on different stuff or even with love, just going with another contract after not being too pleased with this other arrangement here. This person's going to throw like a big, crazy person fit. Okay. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? You might feel a little tired in the next 72 as well. Yeah, standstill. I feel like after you make this decision, things are going to be feeling like it's a standstill, but things are going to pick up again. Purity. I feel like their attentions weren't very pure. Spirit is also saying make sure that you're um, approaching things with a pure heart, like not any negative intentions. But I see you stepping into a leadership role, taking the lead, which is awesome. Um, really embrace that role in the next 72 and take your um, take the lead. You're being called to do so with something. Yeah, a new person entering your life in the next 72. Some of you are going to meet someone else, someone different. We have June being significant. This could be a birthday, um, something happening in June, or something that has already happened in June or will be happening in June. Some of you are going to definitely receive um, some type of karma, which is good. It's good karma. 
Yeah, don't be tempted to lower your standards. I feel like this person's going to want you to lower your standards um, and look past this, whatever this thing is that you see. I feel like you're going to gain a lot of honor and respect with this decision. Um, your ancestors will be very proud of you for not seeing, for see, well, for seeing through the BS here. And then we have danger and finances or money. I feel like for some of you, it's like a business deal. You're feeling like your, your finances are going to be in danger because you decided to move away from this situation, but things will be back in, um, you'll restore it. You'll restore what you lost. Okay. Let me go ahead and pull a love message for you. That's way too many. I'm just going to take the top one. Divine counterpart boundaries. So some of you, um, Scorpios, you're on the way of meeting like your, your divine counterpart. This is someone that you're going to... Um, be able to build something within this lifetime. You both will be creating something. Um, but for some of you, I'm getting your, well, for all of you, you're on the road for a divine counterpart. You've either met them already and you're married to them. If you're single, you're headed towards the direction of um, meeting your divine counterpart. Counterpart, hello. However, you need to set some boundaries for yourself, I'm getting. You need to set some more boundaries. Don't let some people get too close. It says clear boundaries are needed in this situation or relationship. Protect and honor your energy in a balanced way. It's really crazy because I feel like for some of you with business, this person's going to cross boundaries that you don't like. Um, I know I'm talking about love here, but I'm getting that. They, they cross a boundary or something. We also have delays and blocks here in your love life. Some of you may be experiencing some financial delays or blocks when it comes to um, you're in your marriage if you're with someone, but for some of you, you're just experiencing a couple of, um, blocks and delays, but that divine counterpart connection is on its way. All right. Let's get a love mess. I mean, not a love, a financial message for you. Ah, it fell. Entertainer. Some of you are an entertainer. It says, put yourself out there and bring out the best in, okay, let me read this again. Put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so you can get noticed. You could be drawn to careers in theater, music, dance, or any type of entertainment. Is there a talent you could turn into money? Time to think outside the box. I love it. All right, and let's pull some of your channel messages and we'll be done. I am actually getting tired and hot in here. For my Scorpios. Stop. Okay, so it says your child is healthy. For some of you worried about the condition of your child or if there's something wrong with them, it says your child is healthy. Someone is going to be gaslighting you. They are gaslighting you. Someone's gaslighting you. Try to make it seem like you're crazy and you're not. Something going on online, or you're doing something online. An aunt will be very significant. You guys have a dealings with an aunt in the next 72. <laughs> Crackhead behavior, <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, so someone's, <laughs> I can't believe I pulled this one, okay. So someone is needs to stop the crackhead behavior. I'm not literally being a crackhead, but just maybe fiending for something. Um, that's my identification. Maybe it's um, you know you're obsessing over you're obsessing over something. That's basically what I'm getting with the crackhead <laughs> behavior. Um, you might be witnessing this. Um, stop it. Make sure that you're not overindulging in something. You might be witnessing someone overindulging indulging as well. Love and happiness is in store for you, Scorpio. There is a big surprise coming. A big surprise. Some of you need to take a spiritual bat bath. Um, some of you probably have felt a little bit spiritually atta attacked. Take a spiritual bath. I am so pro those. And they are just not going to change. Someone you're dealing with is just not going to change, Spirit is saying. 
All right, if you like this reading, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!